What's up people, it's exciting times for lovers of Telltale games such as me because, well, today is the release of one of their new games, Tales from the Borderlands. It's based in the uh, Borderlands series universe, even though I haven't actually played the games, I've heard of them, I've watched some of the gameplay footage of it, but I, I'm not that familiar with the Borderlands universe, so excuse my ignorance in some of the, I guess, common knowledge in that sense, but knowing telltale it's always the games that they create even though it's set in usually a universe from a different franchise even game uh, people that aren't familiar with it the games are always very playable and very enjoyable as well as it's very story based so i'm pretty sure this is going to be very enjoyable for me as well so yeah it's very exciting times especially because Somewhere in December, Game of Thrones is coming out, and even though I'm not fully up to date with that, I do watch that, so that's very exciting as well. But today we're here with Tales from the Borderlands, so we should definitely get started with it right away. Start episode 1, Zero Sum. And as usually, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Prosperity Junction. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Come on, baby. Fiona? <laughs> what, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Rice, company man, you. That's great. We start off getting hit in the face. And being bonded up. Great. Oh my god. Where is he taking me? Where exactly Into his dungeon? Are we going? I ask the questions. Okay, then uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? Oh! <laughs> oh what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> Is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. <laughs> Don't shoot I'm me there. I'm a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh. From the beginning. 
Right. I once was a baby. I don't remember much from that. But my mommy told me I was a good baby. Or do you want to start at the very beginning? I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Oh, those look familiar. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Vaughn, your best friend. The money You're man. getting a fraction of what he earns. You'll uh, be let's start with lunch. Buy respect? You, you can't buy respect. Period. You gotta earn it. Yeah, there are a couple sweet rides I've been looking at. More fitting of the position I'm gonna be in. Where the hell would you even drive that thing? We're in space. I wouldn't actually use it. It would be more for looks. Oh, right. Well, then that's a great idea. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. Is he and wearing don't one of those Google the glasses? Mind we put together. Uh, thanks those for the help. people have to work somewhere, right? Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Gotta really. be grateful. I couldn't have done this without you and a vet. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hyperion face? That's the blank stare. Raise eyebrows, fake smile. All right, fake smile. That's the Hyperion oh. face. No, we need some condescending. Okay, it's, it's a little not. too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your right, head back. Right, they're bad guys. Uh, like if you I'm ask so me stupid. if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. That voice because sounds familiar. Well, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself. Oh, with what that. is that voice from? And just send the car over when it's ready. Come oh, on. it's from Family Guy. Vasquez, your Hyperion nemesis. You look surprised to see me, Reese. He's from Family Guy. If I'm reading the, the guy situation in the right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it. This Joe. all came together quick. You changed a so lot, Joe. You might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. But <laughs> I... ah, this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the you exact kissed more same butts than I did? Why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. <laughs> it's destiny, race. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. You're 
thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. I saw someone floating. Holy crap, is wow. that Henderson? I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically. <laughs> Which is this? This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. <laughs> Alright, um... You take the computer, you're probably not gonna like that. Uh, that should be me. Only less... Vasquez-y. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, but... Ugh. Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? Do you want the money or not? Because I... Three years sucking up to the guy. Out the window. It's not. No, it won't right, be Alright, we have to rotate this, basically. Oh, smooth. Yes. Press Q to activate Echo Eye. Yeah, that's what we had before. Scan. You can scan him. Probably. It's a working deal. Analysis complete. Species promotion. Homo sapien. Right. Origin. Demophon. Age 35. Blood pressure. Wow, this thing is really uh, in depth. Personal crap. Personal catchphrases. Rock on. Lock and load. Ain't no yeah, thing but a chicken look, look, wing. Look, are you going? Uh, Henderson, sure to scan him too. He's dead. Origin Equator sign Pisces. Me too, man. Right uh, favorite donut that kind with sp the sprinkle. Status not so well, indeed. Not yet. What a waste. Such a nice suit. Uh, sure to scan the world as well. Planet Pandora, Aphelion's, uh, 178 million nine hundred thousand four hundred kilometers. I yeah, that's probably what it is. Perihelion, 148 million, 98,254 kilometers. Eccentricity, 0 0.081. I don't know why I'm naming all of this, but... Satellite's one natural moon. Pandora's potential for profit is rivaled only by its potential to kill you within minutes of setting foot on its surface. Alright, now the important thing, the computer. Yes. Holographic computer monitor, cost expensive, class high. Uh, current, currently viewing yeah, only one encrypted before. file. Decrypt, download and decrypt. It's a working day, August, and I just got this promotion. Do, 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 don't mind me. Unknown energy matrix. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mother. Damn it! Ah, right. Uh, what were we talking about? My promotion? Before we were so rudely interrupted. Yeah, my promotion. We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion? All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you... I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice 
janitor. What? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. What? I'm not gonna take this shit. I'm not gonna become assistant janitor. I quit. Careful now, kid. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can empty. Well, that what didn't the hell go was so that? good. He can't do this to us. He just did. No, no, no. This can't be happening. I'm finished, Will. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, no, no. They can't. Not yet. Unless you don't quiet down, we just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's down not low? That bad. Fuck that shit. Oh no, I gotta clean that up, right? Senior Vice Janitor Reese, <laughs> D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. <laughs> Vasquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap! So, does that mean you're not buying? Ved, your other best friend. Requisitions and Lunch Leech. I have a lot of best friends. Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. We what? steal his no deal. Way. We hit Can back. we make that happen? We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is his vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Askez, we have a friggin' vault key! I mean, what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. What? I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. He got I'm the money just like that? That's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Damn. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends! Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Okay, she's Richter was a lunch leech, so she wants it desperately. Assholes. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. Bam! But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. Double lunch? <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? You can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. 